This is how we start working with the curly horse bat. We unroll the roving. Flatten it out. And then I make strips because it's easier to spin with that way. So I'll, I'll divide this roving usually into about four parts I like. And then I'll spin with each of these sections. So they're laid out and ready for me to spin with. So getting ready to spin, I like to put a blanket or a sheet or a towel over my lap so that the curly horse is, or any fibers contained to the blanket and I can peel it off so I don't waste any. And it also saves for me getting full fiber. So I have curly horse already spun on my bobbin and so I'm just going to continue working with the same color so with that fluffed up I'll start by adding this curly horse roving onto the end so now when I spin one ply my wheel is spinning towards the right and when I spin two ply, my wheel will be spinning towards the left. And curly horse fiber and the curly horse and lamb fiber is one of my favorite fibers to spin with. It pulls so nicely apart and it slips through. As you can see, it, it's not lumpy or clumpy and it just slides through very nicely. I will spin probably to make a skein of yarn of the curly horse and the dyed fiber, the dyed lamb's wool. It will probably take me about three curly horse bats and one braid of the dyed fiber that I make. And that will make a skein um, of probably 80, if I use a bulky, if I make a bulky yarn, which that's what I like for making hats with and purses. Um, it's very soft when it's bulky, so that will make about 80 yards if I make a bulky yarn. And if I make a lighter weight yarn, then you could probably get about 100 or 120 um, yards out of three curly horse bats and one braid. Let's see, it's probably about 170 grams. And this is all you do until it's all spun up. So now we are finished spinning our one ply curly horse and llama fiber. And here is our one ply yarn, dyed yarn, that um, is spun up and ready to go. We're going to do a two-ply yarn, two-ply curly horse, and this is a cordel. So a two-ply curly horse in llama and a cordel dyed green and blue. So because we're doing a two-ply, we're going to spin 
the wheel the opposite direction. We spun the wheel to the right to do a one ply. Now we're going to spin the wheel to the left to do the two ply. So we'll get it going. Takes a bit just to start getting that first twist in there. There we go. So I'm using a Lazy Kate that was designed and made for me by a man in British Columbia here. And this is how I take the yarn and do a two ply, take it off the two bobbins. And it makes it much easier. Here we have about half of the bobbin filled up already. We're about halfway through the spinning of the two ply. I find um, two ply is uh, so much quicker. It's my favorite part of spinning because you get to see the results right away, what it's going to look like, what my yarn's going to look like, and it spins up really quickly. And I'm checking as I'm spinning just to make sure that there isn't anything that's overspun in my one ply. And if there is, then I straighten it out before it gets two plied. And there it is. And that's finished. A two ply curly horse llama blend with the dyed fiber, a Coradel. Needs to be washed and hung to dry and put into a skein labeled and ready to sell.